It's me. Oh, it's me then. So I'm not doing it. I put it back on. If it has to do update. No, it's already updated. The My name's Kelly Benthon and all three of my children have attended Barton Mosque. My youngest at the minute still attends. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, my interview with you is concerning the Big Five mm -hmm. and the closure that the council has put on, upon them, mm -hmm. which, uh, as is. of uh, a fortnight ago, has been now extended to nine months. Yeah. So, I wanted to say, um, what are your thoughts on the council's decision to close up to five minutes? Right. Well, Obviously, when I first heard, I was absolutely fuming. As soon as I got the letter, it was plastered all over Facebook and sent to every possible newspaper I could think of. Because obviously, I know working in them as well, I also know what expertise these staff have got. It's, to them, it's not just a job, it's more than that. They care about the children they look after, and you know, they've been fantastic. Me and my have no problems. And my actual my niece and nephew both went there as well, so I'm six months old. And they stayed right up until the nursery year, so. That goes to show us the state of the family that we've all attended it. So, yeah. Okay. And um, the protest that had a thousand people, do you feel like that made a big breakthrough on it and affected the council's decision? I think it did. I think at first, when they sent these letters home, I didn't think they'd have, I don't think they thought they would have the biggest, the uproar that they did. I think yeah. before everybody was just going, okay, fine, whatever. And then they've seen how many people are fighting it, and it's, yeah. I think they've gone back and thought, oh, well, I hope I <laughs> <have to> look <laughs> yeah. we're going to have to do something, because yeah, I don't yeah. think, because at first I was very, I, mean, I don't follow politics, I don't like it. I think that all politicians are out for themselves. And I also thought the city mayor was as well, because obviously he's one that's made the decision. Yeah. And but to be honest, the more I've had meetings with him, the more I do actually believe he's on our side and he is fighting for the same as us. Because we're fighting for it from government now rather than mm -hmm. the council. Because it's the government that have changed how it's something to do with the I can't remember what it's called, some funding, but yeah. changed how that has to be distributed so it means the nurseries are getting less money. So but I, I don't understand all the financial side of it because I just I switch off when it comes to that point. Do you think that he also, do you think that the mayor authorised authorised and didn't have much to do with it and then once he had more knowledge of the parents um, fighting for it to stay open, he changed his mind? Or? Yeah, I think he did. I think he had no choice but to. Because I think there were so many people, because obviously local press were getting involved, it was on BBC Northwest, it was on the night of the courts, so I think because, and I think because people are sick of the cuts all the time to, and it tends to be to the vulnerable children exactly. and children with people with special needs so I think they're just sick of all the cuts so it's just kind of come at the right time because there's been so many cuts. Okay, do you think we discuss um, where you thought the strengths of the advertising were in the campaign with the leaflets, posters and t-shirts? What do you think well, over much to that success? Yeah. Didn't that help? Yeah, I think it got it out there a lot more new about it then because if you Google Fight for the Five, it comes up with it. Um, mm. Obviously, they were very helpful when it came to the march because we did separate leaflets and um, posters for them, which we put everywhere we could possibly find. Mm. A lot of companies, like the traffic centre and stuff, won't let us put them up. They said they'll put them in the staff room, but that's it. But I know there was a lot of independent shops on like Sulphur Precinct, yeah. they put them up for us. Um, I know a security guard in Tesco kept giving them out to all of the. Uh, really? customers so yeah I mean I think that's where a lot of it I mean we put them wherever we possibly could just to get it out there so we had and I, I mean we've had paper petitions I've been around here because I live there's a lot of elderly around here so a lot of them don't have internet access so I've been around here and got signatures on petitions around here. The plan to go to the Parliament mm -hmm. um, what do you think will be achieved by by that trip? I think hopefully we can, they're hoping to try and speak to somebody in Parliament, I'm not quite yes. sure who, but I'm hoping if we can get somebody from education then that will help and they can hear our concerns and hopefully they'll look at what they are actually doing and how it's affecting, like we say, the kids of the future, so we should be investing in kids now, because it's been proven that kids are more ready, school ready. Kelly, what would you say? Um your message will be to the public uh, if you have one. It will be to back us because obviously the more public 
support, we've got the best <laughs> one we can. It's going to say to Parliament, uh, it's people, it's expecting people, it's not just a few of us that are like, yeah, we're not happy about it. We need as many people to support us and give their voice. I mean, we've got the yeah, minute pledge that's being sent out, we've got to email to all the councillors in the local area to ask them, are they going to support our pledge? Yeah. Obviously it's coming up to voting time, isn't it? So mm. we need to see who's going to support and who's going to back the campaign to save the nurseries. So, um, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks very much.